I'm going to show you how anyone can get started making their first automation. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. So presuming you've got Axiom installed, you've created your account, simply click the new automation button in the top right hand corner of the extension. You'll then be presented with a series of choices on how to start making your first automation. Let me take you through the first of those, our Quick Builder. The Quick Builder um, basically sets up your automations for you. It will add the steps and then it will prompt you to do the final configuration of those steps. So let me take you through it. I'm gonna click and give it a go. First up, I'm presented with a series of choices, whether I want to scrape data from a website, automate tasks on social media, upload, download files, and of course, enter data into a web form. For this video, I'm gonna set up a scraper using the Quick Builder. So I select the scraping option. It straight away asks me a question. Do I have a list of URLs, URLs I wish to scrape? No, I don't. Should your scraper visit multiple pages? Yes. How do you want to output your data? Oh, well, I want to output it into a Google Sheet. And finally, I just need to give the bot a name. I'm gonna call it Web Scraper. You'll see to the right, there's a preview of the bot and it's showing me the steps it's gonna to add to create the scraper, the scraper I requested it make. And now I can go on and configure that scraper so it's all set up. I can either click Start Setup and Axiom will walk me through the configuration, or if I'm a bit more experienced building, I can just press Skip and I can go in and set up those steps myself. But you can see Quick Builder has taken the heavy lifting out of it and it's got all the steps I need to complete this scraper really quickly. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard and take you through the other methods, the other Get Started methods if you're trying to create a new automation, perhaps first. The other way, another way is to basically start from a template. I can click the option there. Now, again, I need to tell Axiom what type of automation or bot I want to make. So this time I'm gonna choose data entry. Here you can see I'm then presented with a choice of templates I can start with. And this essential template, automate data entry, Zapier. Once again, Axiom will offer me the opportunity to let Axiom guide me through the setup or I can skip and do it myself. Now we do have other templates there for you to choose from, not just data entry. For example, we've got social media, file uploads and downloads. We've got AI web scrapers, we've got clicks, we've got web scraping, monitoring etc. Loads for you to try out and create different bots with. Now, another method which is really useful for creating bots quickly is using the snippets. How do I access the snippet? Well, I'm going to start with the new automation button as always, and I'm going to click add my first step. And straight away, you'll, you'll see in the step finder that has appeared, I'm offered a choice of four beginner snippets. And beginner snippets are just like templates, with, but a bit less complete. They're just a subset of steps that help you quickly prototype the type of automation that you want to make. So it can help you quickly scaffold a bot to scrape data, data into a Google Sheet. It can scrape links from a website, and scrape pages can also help you create a bot that will fill in a form. So I'm gonna click on the fill in a form example. You'll see Axiom just adds those steps in really quickly. And now I can just build on those steps so I can insert the URL in the go to page of the form I want to upload. I've got a single enter text step and single click element, but just by using the step finder, I can continue to add steps and expand on that snippet that I've just used to create my complete bot. So snippets are really useful for helping you build a bot a little bit faster. Now, there are other methods to start your first automation. If someone shared um, an automation with you and you want to import it, you can of course just click on import for automation and find it and bring the file in. But the 
Last and final way for starting your first automation is doing it the slightly harder way if you're new to Axiom, and that's add your first step. Ignore the snippets and just go step by step. So if I wanted to build an automation, for example, that was to interact with the browser interface, I'd probably go down to all steps, select interact. Now, I know there's a go to page step, so I want to add a step to load a page. It'll grab the URL for me, and then I can just use the step finder to build up the automation, build the bot steps in there until my bot is complete. So that's the ways you different ways you can get started making your first automation. Thank you for watching.